there everybody, Jesper Grip here for Creativo.com and today I'm just going to show you how to do this texture real quick. Uh, it's just a ripple effect and it's uh, really easy to make yourself so that's why I'm going to show you it. Uh, let's just make a new layer and this decides like th the size of your layer all decides on how uh, big your ripple is gonna be. So for example if we put this on 2560 and 1400. Uh, this is like a normal size for a screen, so I usually take it. Uh, th as you see, this one is squared, so it will show uh, just as much on all sides. I'm going to show you how to do it with uh, this background as well. And what we want to do first is press D on your keyboard, so you select the normal color. You can also click here, so you get black and white. Then we want to go to Filter, uh, Render, and Clouds. After we have done that, we want to go Filter, Blur and then Radial Blur. We want to set it to Spin and Good and Amount on around uh, 35, around there. So there we go. That's the start off. After we've done that, we want to go into Filter once more, Filter Gallery and Bass Relief. Uh, if we zoom out here a little bit, you can see how it looks. This gives uh, basically a gradient and uh, highlights, so it's a really useful tool. Uh, we want to put details on around 3. Um, I already have this preset, so around 3 is usually good. You can raise it up if you want to have more details or whatever, but uh, around 3 is pretty good. And then smoothness, I usually raise up to 15 max, because otherwise you see here you get really sharp edges. So 15 is good. And light bottom. And we'll press OK. After that, we want to go back into Filter Gallery, and now we want to select Chrome. And we zoom out here, you see this gives the water effect. We want to put details on around 5. If You see here, if we move it around, 5 is a pretty good number. So I'm going to keep it on 5. And the smoothness, we want to raise that up to 10 once more, because water is always smooth, so you want to have the smoothness on as much as possible. So we just press OK there. And after we have done this, we want to go to Blur once more, and we want to take a little bit more radial blur, because as you see here, it's pretty sharp, and water is not sharp like I just said, it's pretty soft. So we want to put this on around 2 and spinning good again. So, and there you see we got a little bit smudge out here at the edges, and pretty sharp in the middle. So what we want to do now is blur a little bit more in the middle as well. So we want to Gaussian blur and put it on around 2 pixels. And then just press OK. Uh, and when we, when we have done this, we want to just make sure it gets a little bit of color, because it's always best. So we just put a hue saturation layer and colorize, and then pull it to a uh, light blue like this, and pull down the saturation to around 25, because um, you don't want it to you don't want to give too much color. You just want to give it a little bit of tint of blue. So yeah, that's basically how to do a ripple. Um, ripple effect with your <laughs> with your Photoshop. Uh, so yeah, you can do this. Uh, decide on which layer. You see here you see more of the top and here you see more to the sides. So it's all about what you want. Um, so yeah, that's. I hope that helped you guys. And r as always, remember to send in uh, for example, if you've seen a picture of someone and you want to know how to do that effect, just send in the picture and ask me, like, how do I do the light in this image or whatever, and I will make sure to look it up for you. And uh, make a tutorial, or if it's really easy, I will just write to you how to do it. So make sure to send those in. And thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe and share us uh, all over the internet so we get as many subscribers as possible so we can keep doing these tutorials for you. So thank you for watching and bye bye guys.